When I was in junior high, I ran track, cross country, and, and I had some speed, and it was kind of fun, but it just didn't appeal to me too much, so it wasn't something I pursued. Kind of quit running for a lot of years until I got into my mid-30s. Uh, it's just one of those things, I was kind of on the verge of being unhealthy and just wanted to pick up running again. Nature in itself is just fantastic, and we, we take it for granted so much, so yeah, it, being outside is just it's awesome. The training aspect is really nice because it, it, you know, I like end results and I like to see, you know, what happens after I train for an event, you know, whether it's successful or not or whether I deem it successful. But, you know, you want to stay healthy, you want to stay in this healthy lifestyle to the best of your ability. I'll push myself because I want to stay healthy and I've always wanted to be the best at what I do. And if I can push myself and stay competitive, yeah, that's awesome. The sport's set up to where it can encompass any level of athlete. You watch the, the expression on people's faces when they finish this race and, and it's just fantastic because you know they've accomplished something that they set a goal for and once they accomplish it, it's just a fantastic feeling. Exeter is so much to me, it's, it's, I even get a little emotional about it, thinking about it. It's been a lifestyle I've, I've raced and competed in for 18 years now, and it's, I've met so many wonderful people. I've, I've met my wife through Exeter, too, and she's the love of my life, and God, I, I just, it goes on and on and on. Exeter means, to me, uh, just a fantastic lifestyle, uh, the camaraderie, uh, just fantastic people, and geez, I don't know, just enlightening.